Good afternoon, class. Right, at this point, we, you guys have answered the last paper, or the second paper of the November, out of the study and master textbook. Is that correct? Okay. So the first question says, determine the value of A to F. A is a complement of 85. What does complement mean? It adds up to 90 degrees. So the complement of 85 is 90 minus 85, which is 5 degrees. Not so? Supplement is what? 180. Not so? So the supplement of x is 180 minus x. And you guys copied well. Then in 1.3 it says C is one angle of an equilateral triangle. 60 degrees. Why? Because all the angles in an equilateral triangle is equal to 60. This is also called what? A? Eh? What type of... Uh, it's a polygon, so it's the three sides, makes the triangle. Is this a regular or an irregular? It has to be regular. Why? All the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. That makes it regular. Okay, guys, got it? Right. Next question. Um, in uh, C, we did, uh, did C, D. D is the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle which has a base angle of 25 degrees. Okay? You done with that one? All in order. Let's do the next exercise. Four. Yeah. This is bringing everything together in exercise. Okay, so an isosceles triangle, what do we know about an isosceles triangle? All angles. All angles? Oh, two, two, angles. two angles are equal and the base angles are equal. Two sides are equal and the base angles are equal. So D is the vertex angle, they're referring to D being D. Okay? In an isosceles angles, which is the base, these are called the base angles. Okay? The angle that we those lengths are uh, where the angles are equal is called the base angles. Okay? So the base angles are 25 degrees. So if that is 25, this also has to be 25. Now what's so 25 plus 25? 50. Which makes angle D what? 100 and? Why? Because the angles in the triangle adds up to? 180. So what did you say it's going to be? It's 25, 20 is 50. So D is? 150. Okay. Then E is one base angle of an isosceles right angle triangle. So if you look at the right angle, that's 90. An isosceles, these two has to be equal. That's so. Yes. so if this is x, that will also be x. 2x plus 90 equals 180, sum of triangles. 2x is equal to 90, x is then going to be? So let's see what they say here. E is one base of an isosceles right angle triangle. So in other words, it's going to be E and E then, not so? So E is going to be? 45. 45 degrees. Any confusion there, people? No. no? If is an angle that is twice the size of the complement. What, what is the complement? 90 degrees. Twice the size, 2 times 90? 180. If is an angle that is twice the size of a complement. Okay, wait a If is an angle that is twice the size of a complement. Reading wrong. Yes. yes, thank you. It's complement. Okay. If is an angle, 
if is an angle, that is twice. Now what would if's complement be? 90 minus x. In this case, 90 minus if is the unknown angle. Not so? So this should simply be that if f is an angle that is twice the size, so it's two times the size of the complement, which is 90 minus f. Not so? Multiply that in, I get 180 minus 2f is equal to f. That's going to give us f plus 2f is 180, which is 3f. How do I get f on its own? 60. I say 60 is that right answer. Who got that answer? Well done. Nice. Sorry? Okay, we don't do that too, no? No? If she said she got it right, she got it right. Okay. How much is she now for you? Right. Any confusion here? Any questions? No. I don't think she will lie to me, no? Yeah, yeah, otherwise she's going to get a new one. I don't think she wants that name, no? Would you like it then? Is she the one that lied to me? No. No. No, nah, I know it's that one. I don't like to me. But okay, you guys are the same. Yes. Right. Well, let's go to question two. The frog to me, eh? Question two. Express each of the following in terms of x with the reason. Okay, so I'm going to go a bit slower through this, guys, I know that this would have been a problem, okay? We're doing the side, Michael. Is that a problem? <laughs> in question two, express each of the following in terms of f, uh, with x, with the reason. They want to know B, A, O, B. What are they referring to there? The angle. The angle. A, O, B. Angle. A, O, B. You see, this is the angle they want. Yes. So what's the size of AOB? Who can tell me? 90? Well done. Yes, yes. One day we're going to be all like you, Michael. Just not to die. Good. Why? Vertically opposite angle. You see that? Vertical opposite angles are equal. So AOB, angle AOB is going to be 90 plus X. Why? Vertically opposite angles are equal. You stand here? Yeah, yeah. Right. Do you know uh, number 3.3? Number 2.2. A, B, C, angle. There's another way you could have written this, was A, B, C. Not so. Or in this case, there's only one angle at B, you can be written as angle B. Or C, B, A, C, B, A, or angle C, B, A. All of that means the same thing. Not so? Yes. Okay, so in the exam, they can give you any order or any uh, representation of that angle. You guys understand? Yes. So, A, B, C is this angle they want you to work on. How do you even work on that angle then? What do we need? Yes? X is equal to 180. Y. Angles are a straight line. There's a straight line. There's no angle here. No. <coughs> Angles opposite equal sides. But using that theorem, which angle have we calculated now? 
A. She's saying that A is equal to X. Why? A is equal to X. Angles opposite equal sides. Not so. Right, so here goes an X. Not your X, no? X itself. Yes. Yes, my God. Go for it. Say what you what you were thinking. I was going to say so, that you said two X plus angle B equals one Yes, you're absolutely correct. There's no O there, only A, B, X, no O's. No? So we say X plus angle B plus X adds up to 180. So you got X plus X, as you said, two X plus A, B, C is equal to 180. And the reason there is Sum of triangle. And it's triangle A, B, C. Sorry? There's not enough. You just see that and you just will get no marks. Because you're not applying the theorem. But you understand. So, what's the question? The question is to get A, B, C on its own. Angle A, B, C. So what do I do now? Angle ABC. What is X plus X? 2X. Two X. Two X. Let's take 2X over the equal sign. It becomes 180 minus 2X. You guys understand? Who got that answer? Sorry? You got everything except the answer. So you got the first uh, line. Okay? So out of four marks, you'll probably get two. Okay? Any confusion here? Yeah. But, but well, what's the question? What is the frog? The question. Express each of the following in terms of it. What does that mean? Your answer will have a and your answer will have an x in it. In terms of x means an x in your answer. Let's start here. Yo. Okay. That is the volgende ene keer doen. Want dan gaan we weer Afrikaans teachen, ne? Huh? What? Do you qualify to be Afrikaans? Nee, ik moet eerst te mij. You say no, but you should. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, it will take me a lifetime, Mr. B. But anyway. People, the question is angle A, B, D. Yeah. But I, I didn't even say which angle. A, you're too fast. A, B, D. So this angle here. Right, what do you say, um, Michael? J. I say 2x equals 90. 2x equal to 90. 2x plus 90. Where is that going to take us? Neither do I. Anyone else? The 90 is X. No. I'm hearing exterior angle. Exterior angle, this exterior is equal to sum of two interior opposites. Is that what you say? That would be exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposites. No. So isn't the 90 45 and 55 and depends on the line? The line going through here, yeah? this is 90, she said that is 45 and 45. Under what condition will that be 45, 45? Who can tell me under what condition would those two angles be equal to 45? Yes? Um, that angle, it's still triangle, so that is going to be 360. You must take us further away from the <laughs> Who can tell me? You guys, 
if they told us that BD bisect, what does bisect mean? Cut in half. BD bisect CBA. If they told us that DB is bisecting CBA, that angle here, then it's 45, 45. Have they told us that? No. So you can't assume it's 45. Anybody else? Before I now give the answer? <laughs> okay, let's look here. With these lines being equal, what do we know? The base angles are equal. Not so. But what do we notice here? There we go. Exterior angles equals the sum of two interior opposite. No, no, don't say you're dumb, no. Right? <laughs> but, you guys get the idea. Right, so let's go with that. So we're going to first say that this angle here is equal to that angle there. So A, B, C, this angle here is equal to angle C. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. You all agree with that? Angles opposite equal sides. So what I'm going to go with is, I'm going to go with this angle here because this angle is linked directly to that 90 degrees. Can you see that? So I'm going to say that 2x is equal to angle C plus angle ABC. Not so. Because why? That is your exterior angle of that triangle. So 2x is equal to angle C plus a DBC. D, B, C, but it's much twice that angle, not so. Okay, if, if 2x is equal to angle C plus A, B, C, yes. but this angle and this angle is the same according to that, yes. not so. So instead of writing it twice, I'm going to write it once, but as 2 A, B, C. Why? So that I only have one unknown in the equation. Or getting um, this angle, or this, to, to reduce the number of unknowns in the equation. Can you see that, people? And what's your reason here? Exterior angle of triangle. Okay? And it's triangle um, DCB. This part you don't have to stay, okay? So I divide by two both sides. So ABC is equal to X. So that angle is X, okay, and that is X. Ever answer the question? No. So what's the size of this angle D? 90 minus X. You all understand? Remember this angle is given 90 then. Can you see that? Yes. So A BD plus X equals 90 degrees. Why? Given. Given. Yes, well done. Given. That ABC is equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, ABD is equal to 90 minus 6. Imagine you got the sum like this in your exam. No, you would have, some of you would have got, gotten up six marks. Why you keep yourself in for maths for It was in break now. It was in five minutes now. Okay. Right, any confusion here? Any confusion? Right. Let's carry on. One point, hey, the sums is just getting sweeter and sweeter. Ne? You see, there, there, the angles are equal. There, there is a showing that it's bisecting. AC is bisecting E 
A, B. Can you see that, people? The question says, write B, A, C in terms of X. B, A, C. So B, A, C. They want this angle in terms of X. Sorry? X. X plus. Where you get the X? I'm sorry. Anybody else? Yes? <laughs> you didn't do your own? B, A, C. They want you to write that angle in terms of X. Yes? Is not. <laughs> <laughs> you must watch the videos on geometry, no? You must rewatch it from the beginning. Don't shake your head. Shake it in that area, in the firm minutes. Okay. So you understand, your basic understanding of it. So you say x is 180, what? Where is that from? Angles on a straight line both adds up to 180. Not O. Straight line. People? Anybody? Okay, we know that B A C is equal to C A E or E A C. Why is that equal? Is given. Is he in the diagram? It's given equal. Not so. Yes. You see it now. Yes, well done. Absolutely. So what do we say? X plus... Not a dot. <laughs> Two years. Why am I not going to say X plus BAC plus CAE? Because why? That is what I want to calculate. Can you see that? And this is equal to what? 180Y. Co interior angles. With AE being parallel to BC. So I take it X over. So twice BAC is equal to 180 minus 6. So I divide by 2. Cancel. So BAC is equal to 180 minus x over 2. Or I can put each one of its own. 90 divided, um, 180 divided by 2 is 90 x divided by 2 is x over 2 or half x. That is equivalent answer set. Okay. Any confusion yet? Any confusion? Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's go, can you one? Question 3. In question 3 we are told, in the following figures, calculate the values of A to F with reason. Calculate the values of A to F with reason. So let's look at the first one, 3.1. Now we're going to solve for A. Yes, 140 minus 50 is A. Which theorem is he using there? Exterior. Exterior angle of triangle. So 140 is equal to A plus 50. 
H theory angle of triangle is equal to the sum of the two in theory opposite. And it's triangle A, B, D. A, B, C. Absolutely. We take it over. So A is equal to 140 minus 50, which is? 90 degrees. Which make it 90. What type of triangle would this have been? If that is 90. It's a right angle triangle. What else is true about this triangle? If this is 50, 90, this is going to give you 40. So what type of triangle is this? An isosceles triangle. I'm not isosceles. Scaling, sir. All the angles are different. Not so? Yes, sir. But that was an asked. Let's go with question 3.2. <clears throat> question 3.2 for 8 marks. Let's try and do it in order. B is equal to what? These lengths are equal. 40. Why? Angles are opposite equal sides. You see that? So it's 40. Angles opposite equal sides. How do you calculate C? C is equal to? 40 is? Yes? C and D is equal to yes. angles opposite equal sign. But what is C equal to? 80 is yes. why? Yes, exterior angle of triangle. Not so? Exterior angle is equal to the sum of two interior opposites. So C is equal to 40 plus 40, which is 80 degrees. Exterior angle of triangle. And this is triangle AD. Okay, so I'll put AD here. What do you notice? I'm populating the diagram. I'm filling in all this information on the diagram. Are you okay with that? Now what? is equal to 18. Why? Angles are opposite equal sides. Sanitize. Angles are opposite equal sides. Yes? Yeah. Yes? How you call that E? Exterior angle of triangle. Can you all see that? Exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite. So you're going to say E plus 30 degrees equals 80. Exterior angle of triangle. And it's triangle B, a triangle ABC. So E is going to be 50 degrees. Okay, could I have gone with some of the angles here to calculate E? You calculate this angle. Why not? You shorting this angle B, which is A and C, A, D. You see you shorting this angle here? So you can't go with some of the angles. Understand? Go on. You all with me? Any confusion? No. Question 3.3. This is the last question in question 3. They want to calculate if. This is an easy one, so we did something similar to the one before. In the previous question.
Sorry, f plus. Yes. What? Straight line. Nee, my kin. How is that an angle? You didn't show it in this big angle. Alternate angles, nice. But you show it in that angle? No, sir, the other way. The other way? Okay. So she's going this way. So this angle is 50. Then? Straight line. Okay, that can work. Easier way. Yes? There we go. Come in here. Not so? So 50 degrees plus? 68 plus? F equals? Y? Coming to the end. With AB being parallel to CD. Not so? So F is equal to 180. Minus 50. Minus 68. Do an angle up. You sure? Yes. So how did you work it out? So A, okay, just hang on people. A? Well, that's your reason. So you're missing out your reason. Okay. Question four. In question four. Okay, I'll give you a chance to do question four. Okay, so at this point, you guys have completed this question now. It says calculate, come sit down now. Calculate the value of x, y, and z in each of the following figures with reason. X is equal to 60. You all agree with that? No. Huh? Yes. Yes. You see these sides? Those angles are equal. This whole angle A is 60 degrees. Can you see that? That is why X can't be 60. So she's saying first that D, A, uh, B, A, D. B, A, D is equal to X. Y, angles opposite equal sides. So here's x. Now what? x plus x plus 90 equals 180. Y. Sum of triangles. It's triangle BAD. Okay? So 2x is equal to 180 minus 90 which is 90 degrees. You add by 2. So x is. We got 45. Is that this time? Sleeping. We're still busy. So in other words, that is 45 and 45. Alright, so I'm going to pause here. And then I'm going to give you a chance to calculate y and z here. Okay? Is that okay? Right, so, how do you calculate y? y is equal to? 60 minus 45. Why? Why is that 60 minus 45? Because, given that B, A, C equals 60. So y is 15. Are we going to calculate z? Um, x t then. 
exterior angles equal sum of two interior angles. Do you all agree with that? So 90 degrees equals 15 plus Z. Exterior angle of triangle and it's triangle DAC. Okay? Yes? How did you do it? Okay, so I know where you're going with it. Just give me a minute, let me just wrap this up quickly. So Z is equal to 90 minus 15, which is? 75. Now what she's saying is, she went with some of the angles here. Correct? But she, has, but she did say first that the A, uh, ADC plus 90 degrees equals 180. Why? As a um, straight line. Okay? So uh, ADC is equal to 90 degrees. Then she said 90 degrees for this triangle, 90 degrees, plus Z plus 15, equal, uh, 15 degrees, equals 180. Why? Sum of triangles. So Z is going to be now 180 minus 90 minus 15, which is 75 degrees. Now you see all this here, instead of that you could have done much less work for two marks as well, two or three marks. Yes? Okay, if she goes with the whole triangle, let's get another color here. At this point, you can go with this here. Okay? So it's going to be 45 degrees, plus it, plus... 60 equals 180. Why? Sum of triangles. So Z works out to be 180 minus 60 minus 45. 75. You all agree with that? Yes. Any confusion? Right, for homework. For homework for tomorrow, I want you guys to complete this paper. Let's just see what's left. Just hang on before you leave. We are now, no? Okay, just complete this paper for me, okay? Which will basically be question uh, 4.1.2 and 4.2. I know you guys haven't done the other sections yet, but I'll answer it tomorrow for the purpose of the video and then I'll give you a new paper from tomorrow onwards. People enjoy the rest of your day. Good afternoon class.